How's it going guys? It's your boy Sinful back again with another Patreon request. This request is from Skull Collector with Seven Spires Sol Solvig. Uh, I never heard of this band before. Apparently they a American metal band um, from Boston. Apparently they went to Berkeley College. The only other band that I know is uh, that I we recently I don't know my stream uh, was aviations or whatever and uh that was a that was a quite a find so uh, yeah i'm really interested to see uh what this band's uh, all about so please join me on this journey with some seven spires okay off with the uh, piano at the start here interesting Hold on a little bit here Nice. Hmm. Strings and the, the war drums going on. intro track but kind of lead us into the album here interesting i wonder if it's going to be one of those theatrical bands and by the way uh, i think the it's a female vocalist when i was looking up the band role. This album came out in 2017, so it's an older album. Uh, looks like it's their first album as well. Yeah, we'll see. It's 15 tracks, too. So. Okay. Like classic, you know, metal like riff, you know? It's a nice solo. Or not a solo. You get it. Not a guitarist, guys. Give me like, like a bench sevenfold feels with the guitars a little bit. Ooh. Just a really nice voice. Give me like, I don't know, it's giving me like pirate vibes, you know? Pirates of the Caribbean. Ooh. Ooh, I like that. 
double bass there. Alright, Garrett got me singing along. <laughs> Cast your sails, mateys. I can't be the other one that's thinking that, right? <laughs> oh, shit. Nice. Okay. This is start. The siren reprise? I wonder if this is like a redo of a song they did or like they remastered it maybe I don't know oh okay it was just a um interlude Damn! Shed a lot of, uh. What should I call it? Oh, energy there. Really good tone there, too. Interesting. Getting like some like Tim Burton vibes here. Trumpet there for a second. <laughs> Nice. She has that like I don't dare I say it, like 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 a Metallica uh like a thrash metal type of vocal. Oh we got some screams here. Oh, oh shit. Oh Okay. I thought we we're gonna have a massive breakdown there for a second. Oh shit, here we go. Ooh. 
what the strings of Oh, that the um, this background uh, hums too, like the choir. Okay. This is pretty sick, actually. I can see why this is their top played uh, track on this album, so. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. We got the carnival. The little, um, what do you, what you call it, the xylophone thing? Nice, that was a fun track. I don't know. Something about this tone just feel it's just so old school to me. I mean, it's it's kind of old. I mean, it's 2017, but it feels older than that. In a good way, though. It's a good groove there. Damn, like the the riffs are so simple, but like it it works. There's uh, layered screams there. Gnarly solos. This riff is so good. Ooh. 
Ooh, I hear you, drums. That change up there. This progression in this song is really good. Damn. Damn, she, she got up there. She... <laughs> Dang. All right. Back with the, uh, piano or in the, the strings or, or what is that it sounds like uh, an Egyptian instrument or something the chapter's done the page is torn the book has turned to dust This chorus, though. Okay. <laughs> Got my attention there. Like a nudge for the chorus alone. So it won't haunt me anymore. Yeah, this is this part's cool. Yeah, this is a good song. Interesting switch up there. Ooh. 
Nice. It's probably really fun to play that live as well. I can imagine. I think we only stick though. I think it does go a little bit too long for me. Like they could have maybe cut it down a little bit, but that's my only critique about it though. Part of my uh, my zoomer brain. I'm not even a zoomer though. <laughs> oh, what? That came out of nowhere. Okay, just switch up the tempo at the end of the song. All right. <laughs> Why not? Oh. Got a flu in here. What? This riff reminds me of like Breaking Ben or something, too, for some reasons. This is a really nice, like, um, what do you call that? Vibrato. It's cool. You get in, like, uh, what's that band called? Um, from like the 70s like um abba or something definitely like inspired from that era oh was really good that was a nice break uh uh with the album too oh 
of shit. There we go again. Oh! Got the <laughs> the Dragon Force uh, riff here or whatever. It's pro it's probably not. It's like power metal. It's all the same kind of stuff. So yeah, maybe that's what I'm thinking of. This band's very power metal as well. It's a mixture of other things, but power metal is definitely one of them. Yeah, definitely. Just makes you want to grab your fist and just pump it, you know? Such a clean tone, though. With, with I really wish they bring up her her screams a little bit more into the mix um maybe that's just this album who or a stylistic choice but because she does have a really nice scream too so got the bells Church bells. Weird. The scream kind of came in out of left field there for a second. Oh, another solo. Damn, man. Well, this band is lacking in the breakdown apartment, but holy fuck, they make it up with their goddamn solos. Him. 
There's layered, uh, um, required in the screen's food. Okay, we're getting heavy here. Whoa. Damn, those, uh, those fry screams are nice. Oh, she got a long day. Yeah, like with she went what? What was that? It was like some some strings. Yo. Oh shit! Here we go again. It's very. It's almost like black metal in a way too. You know what I mean? But like, it's not necessary blocking though. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I almost got distracted. I can't. He just he doesn't know where to go. So it's the start of my life. Yeah, I like that. Get that one I like. It's pretty sick. It's probably the heaviest trek, yeah, huh? Had a lot of the uh the screams in it, yeah. Okay, serenity. Gotta get credit to the bass there. That's some pretty cool bass lines. Oh! Nice. Oh, 
Oh, shit. Oh, a contrast. I'm not sure how I feel about the layers there in the chorus. The scream's kind of uh, muddied a little bit. Here's good though. Yeah, so I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's just a little bit of a mixing issue. What I know? I'm not. No, I'm no auto engineer, so take everything I say for a grain of salt. <laughs> That's a nice chorus. I don't know. There, I, I don't know. There, it was. It worked better for me. I don't know. It just maybe it's just something you have to just grow on, I guess. Oh shit. Oh. <laughs> Here we go again. some really good progression. Oh shit. We in uh, Ireland? We, we in Scotland? <laughs> or um... What am I thinking about? A Braveheart or something? Interesting. Okay. Damn. 
I think these kind of songs, um, the vocalist especially really strives in. I like how the piano goes along with the uh, chorus there. It's a special name for that, I can't think of it. It's like soft, like power metal. I don't know. It's the vibes that I'm getting. <laughs> uh oh. No. Okay. It's just a solo. Okay, I thought I was gonna do something else for a second. I'm sorry guys, I am I am a core kid at heart. I always wait for the breakdowns. Not for the solos necessarily, but I do appreciate a good solo. It's like a, uh, I'm not even gonna say it. You can, you can use your imagination with that. <laughs> Did she just pick school? She, she did a free. Brush them. I just I brushed you recently. I mean, it's gonna warm her out. Shed boy. Damn. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna give that one a like. This is pretty good. Jesus. Oh, Lord. These melodies are so good. The 
double bass. I know I am a core kid, but like, reminds me a little bit of uh, Make Them Suffer, because they do a lot of piano work with their older stuff, but that's a lot heavier. But. I think a lot of uh, bands probably in this scene probably do similar stuff, so. With the piano and cinematic theater, you know. <laughs> Jeez. Oh. It does get a little bit repetitive, just a little bit for me. It's like probably the fifth time they did this chorus, pre-chorus. But again, it's probably just the style because I can say the same thing about, you know, Lona Shore, just long, the long game, the structure. Again, I do have that the Zoomer brain fucking, you know, it's, it's social media affected me. Oh my god, this track is eight minutes long, bro. Yeah, I forgot to mention this, uh, this whole album is like an hour long, too. <laughs> but jeez. Whoever, whoever stuck with me, uh, you're, you're the real ones right here. Maybe leave a comment if you made it this far. <laughs> also, hit that like button and subscribe. But, yeah, do it. Oh, yeah. this is very thrash metal vibes. But also mixed with like, um, just straight up death metal. But, ooh, there's uh, synths there.
Jeez. God. She has insane Volker runs. Well, it's already been three minutes, and it doesn't seem like it's uh, off to a good start here. <laughs> Almost doesn't get old. <laughs> oh, here we go. Go to the bridge here. So now we're going to the second part of this. Uh, yeah. yeah. They kind of split it up. This, see, this could have been two songs, but... The heck? Sounded like the Disney opening for some... Disney soundtrack. Disney core. Up to the side, that's, that's really beautiful. A song upon your tongue for you to hold. In the ashes, would you bury me and bear the wicked fire to walk What the fuck? <laughs> I did not expect that. What the fuck is that? It's just, is that just a bass, right? You're just slapping the bass? It's so weird. Shitty on this 
<laughs> from the get go, only because it was eight minutes, over eight minutes. But here's the thing, though, I just, I still end up enjoying it, you know. It's just, it's just I, for the sole purpose of being really long, I typically wouldn't re-listen to the whole song again. I guess maybe that's what it is. Maybe it will with this one. Who knows? Oh my gosh. Damn. The amount of like force and like energy to like hit that note like that. Crazy. So I ended up liking the song, so. Damn. That was a pretty epic song there. Okay, we got more left. Oh shit, another sad song. Never mind. <laughs> Song that's called Ashes is very uplifting. <laughs> it's like you're rising from the ashes. So, yeah, I get it. Pretty catchy. It's got me bobbing. <laughs> Never again 
with the the Disney core. <laughs> I'm sorry, is that offensive? I don't know. It's sorry, I just I don't want to step on people's toes. But it's all fun it's all fun and games for you guys. I swear I'm getting like pirates vibes still. I will stick to that. <laughs> Thing. So this is like a, I guess it's like an outro track, I guess. It's kind of cool. I don't really hear that too much. At least the stuff I most listen to, anyway. Ooh, damn. Got the chimes there? What the heck? Hey, you guys like bringing the whole orchestra here? Like, Yeah, definitely getting like like Edward like scissor hands there. You know what I mean? Like with Tim Burton. Yeah. Um Yeah. This album had a mixture of like everything, I think. Like going from like literally from like death metal to like all the way to like you know, like a really um like clear tone, you know, stuff with the guitars and shit. Okay, that was uh, Seven Spires album, Soul Fig, or Soul Fig, whatever you say. I'm so, sorry, I'm so bad with names. But yeah, that was definitely uh, a pretty interesting experience and, and a very interesting band as well. This uh, this band just like had so many different like themes in it all from like, I think I mentioned like Pirates, uh, like Tim Burton kind of stuff, you know, kind of like the cinematic Know, theatrics in a way especially starting out you know with that uh pretty cool you know or orchestraic you know uh intro and then leading to some like pretty pretty interesting like uh really great vocal runs by the vocalist like that, that god damn she has a really good voice insane insane guitar work especially those solos holy shit i i i props to the guitarist and i think i also mentioned yeah it's very like power metal at some points uh 
very like some very like dragon force especially with the uh really uh, the double bass and the the blast beats and i think uh what was it? i think it was either paradox or depths was like probably one of the heaviest tracks in on the album here like they literally went like almost death metal practically i i i, I would see even close as like like a blackened like maybe death metal and then you had breaks in the album where it was just so like just beautiful like it was the, the with the you know vocals just singing and then you know that that, that backing like bass and, and and the drums and everything so yeah i was actually very impressed um going in i had no idea what to expect at first i was kind of cut off a little bit because this is not something i would just listen to to be honest because it's i wouldn't say generic but like the way at least spotify worded it it was just it's this american metal band like and like a modern metal band like but but generally um this is actually a really good band is this something that i would listen to again uh maybe yes and no i mean there's a few songs that i really like and then uh and then other songs i just kind of um i mean i still enjoy them but like i think i, I think at some moments i kind of got a little bit bored but i feel like me uh maybe back in like high school i don't know maybe like 10 10 years ago or maybe 15 years ago god i feel old that i probably would have liked a little bit more because uh, i was listening to a lot of this kind of stuff to getting more and more into like you know the heavier stuff that i listen to now you know with the, the metal core and, and the death core but um but i i listen to all kinds of music um i just listen to more or things and others i suppose but yeah generally yes this is a very good album uh if i had to rate it i, I don't know i would maybe rate it an eight, maybe an eight maybe an 8.5 for me that's uh that's pretty good because <laughs> it was still very well like produced and everything and it was very well thought out you know i had a really cool like intro and like outro which i i do respect almost like a concept album too because i really like uh how bands like they uh kind of like draw a story basically and you kind of like kind of interpret it so i kind of had that feeling maybe a little bit uh, but yeah i think that's all i gotta say about that uh thanks again for the patreon request uh skull collector you're the man sir everyone else that's been watching uh, if you want to go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me and hit that bell uh, if you want to check out more of my reactions like this one i also do stream on twitch and there is a discord in that description so you want to head down there and click on those links and also patreon so quick announcement with that um, I did update the tiers. Uh, so currently they're, they're still that the, the first tier is still a dollar. The second and third tiers, I kind of, I changed that a little bit. Uh, they're, the second tier is five and then the third tier is 10. Second tier, you can do a single song uh, reaction. And there is an, also an album tier reaction, which is now $10. Don't worry for the for those who are in that current tier that that's that was stuck at $5. Um, you guys are going to be grandfathered in for now and uh as you know as my first supporters uh you, you don't have to worry about that so just 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 an fyi um the reason why i'm doing that um since i did get a lot of influx uh patreon requests um it's really hard for me to keep up and these videos do generally take me a, a, a while to you know edit you know render upload all, 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 all that kind of stuff and as some of you may know i do work a full-time job so as there's that and, and, and you know just other just life stuff going on in general so uh yeah so that's gonna do it for me thank you guys so much for watching hope you guys have a wonderful day and i'll see you guys in the next one Peace.